What the fuck is up, guys? It's the BYT. Back from our video. It's my dog's birthday. Today. <laughs> Turning the big seven years today. I think he's four. Wait, was he like 49 in dog years or something? Here. Here's your treat, Luke. Oh. Sit. Shake. Shake. Lay down. There he goes. So yeah. Got him back in 2008. So yeah, this is going to be your WWE Smackdown spoilers for November 12th, 2015. Let's get started. The reason why I haven't been uploading in your house reviews is because um, I have a lot of stuff going on right now in my life. I got school to worry about. Um, I'm going through like a stressful time, so I really and there's not going to be a lot of them. I'll probably do like one every couple days. I'll probably upload number six tonight. But yeah, this is a uh, this is a. Uh, the jobber tournament matches are tonight. <laughs> so I'll give you my spoilers for this. The spoilers for this. So, Wyatt family kicked off SmackDown with Bray issuing a challenge to The Undertaker and Kane for a tag team match, pitting the Brothers of Destruction against two of his hand-picked family members. Fandango interrupted. Yes, really, Fandango interrupted. In a match between him and Braun Strowman was set up. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan against the Usos were all, was also announced for the main event. Strowman squashed Fandango with the bear hug after the match. Wyatt demanded an answer from Undertaker by the end of the night. Neville defeated King Barrett to advance in the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. So it seems like they're making this tournament just for, like, ROH guys. You know, you look at the winners, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Neville. I mean, they're all, like, they're all, and later some more ROH guys get the win, too. But, yeah. Um, so Neville gets the win. Way to uh, make your King of the Ring winner look good, WWE. After the match and during a commercial break, Barrett cut a promo on soccer player Wayne Rooney. We have no idea who this is. Your main audience is the U.S. Is it really worth talking about this WWE? Who gives a shit about Wayne Rooney? I don't know this jobber. Undertaker interrupted and delivered two tombstone pile drivers to the King of the Ring winner. While the promo on Rooney occurred off-air, it was not indicated whether Undertaker's appearance in front of the crowd would air or not. Kalisto defeated Ryback. <laughs> wow. Um, I was not expecting him to get the win here. I'm guessing there's going to be a Ryback heel turn. But... I have no idea. I mean, this is ridiculous. Ryback loses to Kalisto. See, another ROH guy goes on. Way to make this tournament prestigious have Kalisto and Neville and Stardust in it. And top that off, they advance. United States Champion Alberto Del Rio defeats Stardust to advance in the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Um. Roman Reigns cut a promo with Renee Young, revealing that not being a sellout is the reason he turned down the authority on Raw. Who's he selling out to? His two fans? Uh, the Usos defeat Luke Harper and Eric Rowan by disqualification. When Strowman and Wyatt interfered, Undertaker's gong sounded, and he accepted Wyatt's challenge. So it's not even known if Undertaker was even on TV, because it, wrote, it was r written down that... I don't know, they don't know if he was appeared on TV or not, but 
that being said, this SmackDown does not look good at all. Um, this looks like a very boring SmackDown, nothing special. And I'm just so sick of the WWE. They can make the show so much better, but they choose not to for some reason. It just it just doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.